So here we are, we're working on a problem that says how many cubic yards is 81 cubic feet? So we're going from cubic yards, uh, we want to get cubic yards from 81 cubic feet. How many cubic yards from 81 cubic feet? What do we do? Well, they give us a ratio, and uh, that, that helps us out a lot. They say that 27 cubic feet, right, if we have that much, that means that we have one cubic yard. And I think that might make sense to you. Um, you know, or at least I know, that one yard, right, is for every three feet. But notice that here that to get from one cubic yard to a cubic foot, we don't multiply one by three, we multiply it by 27. And here's the reason. When you look at a cubic space, right, let's say this cube right here represents a cubic, right, a cubic foot. Well, to get from a cubic foot to a cubic yard, you have to multiply each dimension by three. So three this way, three up, right, and three across. So this new shape, let me actually fix that one line there. This new shape, you know, this is terrible. Let me start over here. We have one cubic foot, right? If I want a cubic yard, that means I need to extend every direction by three. Three this way, three that way, and three this way to create this cubic yard. This is a, still an awful drawing, but it's getting better. Now the cubic yard, right, it would take 27 of these cubic feet to fit inside because what we've done effectively is multiply each dimension by three. In other words, the shape became three by three by three times larger, or 27 times larger, which is why it takes 27 cubic feet, right, to make one cubic yard. So back to the question, they say we have 81 cubic feet, how many yards is that? Well, that, that means we have 27 times three cubic feet, or 81 cubic feet. Okay, so 81 cubic feet, and we want to keep our ratio the same, that means it'll be three cubic yards. And again, notice that it takes three times 27 to represent the, the number of cubic feet. So we're tripling the yards in every, in well, in three dimensions, and altogether it becomes three to the, th the third power times larger, or 27 times larger. All right, hope that helps.